What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Get a couple things set up and then we're ready to rock. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sorry I couldn't get live yesterday afternoon. I had a lot I had to do. So unfortunately couldn't get couldn't get up in here. Them taxes, man. Biggest pain. Uh let's see a lot of post Twitter. I mean yeah, I'm ready for today. I just I don't know how long I can be around today. I got some stuff I gotta take care of. All right, post. Awesome. There we go, baby. Good morning, everybody. How'd everybody do yesterday? Make money, lose money, take no trades. Let me know in the chat. And yes, we do have uh, Jay Powell today, except, like I said, I probably... Oh, wait, no, no, no. He talks at 10. Okay. Um, I think it's tomorrow he speaks... No, he speaks at 9.40 tomorrow. I thought he spoke later in the day. Anyways, okay. So 10 o'clock, we got Jerome Powell. Um, maybe we can get a setup before he starts speaking, which would be ideal. That way, we don't really have to worry about that volatility, but we'll see. We will see what the market brings. Good day yesterday. Awesome. Looks like we bounced right, at, right out of that support zone. That previous support. So resistance here, resistance here, support, 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 and then we supported again yesterday. So let's go ahead, let's clean this bad boy up. There we go. All right, so we fell six points short of my overall price target on ES from this pivot high to pivot low. And then we ended up rejecting. So, I mean, we do got to keep in mind that this is a really strong support zone, right? We haven't been able to break below it. Now, if we break below it, then we could look for shorts for price to go lower. Um, I mean, if there's one area that I'm going to be interested in for a reject, as of now, it's just this pivot high to pivot low. And you can see we're at that 50% retracement. So we do have ADP here in five minutes. Uh, so we'll see if that invalidates. But yeah, support here, rejects up here. If we break this, then we do have that two hour supply way up there. We already tested that supply. Yeah, that's really it. Next level I'd be interested in a rejects way up here. Boom, boom. Extend that to the right. So we got two hours supply. Awesome. This is the S&P 500 futures. And good morning, everybody on TikTok as well. Got 130 of you in here this morning. Good morning. But yeah, this is S&P 500 futures. We're going to take a look at some individuals here in a little bit. Like I said, <clears throat> we got ADP dropping here in five minutes. So I do expect it to move the market. So I don't want to do... Too much analysis on individuals yet. So we're just going to get uh, SPY, ES Futures, QQQ, and NASDAQ. And hopefully we're done before the news. And then we'll see what happens from there. And then we can uh, look at some individuals. But as far as SPY, I mean, I'm still very interested in that 503 to 50287. If we can actually get down there. That's really the only bounce that I'm super interested in. 
as far as spy. Let's see, what is today, the six? Boom. There we go. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be watching on spy. Yesterday's high was 51065. We do have a daily gap here to here. So around like a dollar thirty that we could scalp. Let's see where that fib ends up being. I think we're pretty close to it. But yeah, if there's anywhere I'm gonna look to reject. We already broke the 50, so I mean 510.7 which is going to be gap entry as well as at 61.8. No, I'm not an Umar mentee, but I know Umar. Umar is a goat. Talk to him a handful of times. But awesome. Everybody on TikTok, make sure you're following. I go live every single morning, 8 a.m. Eastern time. Give you guys this free watch list and also make sure to check out the YouTube channel, Brandon Trades, 73.2K subscribers, 938 videos teaching you guys on how to trade. Plus, I'm starting to upload trade recaps again so you guys will know exactly why I take certain trades. But yeah, Brandon Trades on YouTube. Link is also in the bio. Anyways, alrighty. Uh, 812. So, spy, we're looking for that 5107. And Q, we broke the fib yesterday, so that's not valid. I mean, really, there to there would be the only other level. Broke that 50, so that's not really valid. We're gonna look for a reject. There to there. I don't think we Let's see if we have supply real quick. Yeah, we have two hour supply way up there. Four hour supply right there, but more interested in that 61.8. If we get up there, maybe even the 50. If uh, it doesn't happen based off of ADP. <clears throat> and gang, good morning, everybody. Uh, Caswell here. If you go on my beacons, you can find it. I'll give you my beacons. There you go. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be looking for for rejects today. Possible bounce way down here. That's really the only area that I see as far as a bounce. Until we get way down there into that demand. Yeah, that's really far away, but cool. That's everything on NQ. Take a very quick look at QQQ. Let's see what happens with these uh, ADP numbers. And then we're going to run back through those and finalize those levels. Take a look at individuals and then see what we like today and what we don't like. Be at QQQ if I'm looking for a bounce. Pivot low. Pivot high. Pretty much bounced that 50% retracement yesterday. Cool. See what happens based off this news. We got 30 seconds. Nice. You short or long on Google? And again, everybody take two seconds. Make sure you guys are subscribed on YouTube. Make sure you're following on TikTok. Lots of free education. If you're not following, I don't know what to tell you. You're missing out. That's for sure. All right, 15. Let's see what the numbers are. Let's see how the market reacts. We have non-farm payrolls on Friday, though, I believe. So that should be like the larger market mover. ADP is kind of like the the warm up. And then non-farm payrolls is uh, the finisher. So 
Let's see if it even does anything. Uh, ADP 140,000 versus 107,000, previous 150. So below previous, oh wait, no, no. Above previous, below estimate. So far looking pretty flat. Give it a couple more minutes. Good morning. Yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty flat. It looked like it's not really going to do much. So, again, uh, bounce way down here, reject up here, and then supply way up there. And then I'll look for intraday setups as well. But that's about it on ES. Spy, it's the same levels. Bounce down here, which would be ideal, actually. Ideal. Um, even this 50450 isn't like a bad setup. You can see it was really strong support. So, I mean, if that's kind of far away. But if it somehow got down there this week, um, I might try like a small piece for a bounce right here. Anywhere from like 50450 to like 505. And then the higher probability with more size would be here. So, and also fingers crossed, we do not hit this reject before market open. But if we break above 510 or 510.7, we have a gap that we can trade up into 512. So we're good there. Uh, Twitter. I just follow some uh, news accounts on Twitter. And Q way down there. Reject there. Reject there. Perfect. Q, Q, Q. Bounces down there. Reject up there. Perfect. All right. Let's run through some individuals. Uh, gold hit new, new all-time highs. Or at least GLD did. I don't know about gold futures. But, damn, that was a really good setup, too. That one-hour squeeze setup was nice. All right, so gold futures, it's close. But I do want to look at GLD because I'm not opposed to taking a day trade there if it... And that one-hour squeeze setup was really good. I just think... Might try to go without us, but it's not too far from 200. I mean, that could act as a magnet. Let's put gold on the list. GLD. I know, very boring stuff. We're over here talking about gold on TikTok. Everybody wants me to look at Dogecoin and SHIB, or SHIB, whatever it is. I'm over here looking at gold. I'm sorry, everybody. All right, Apple, don't care about. Broke the last possible spot I had for a bounce. So, broke that weekly. It's at that monthly 21 EMA. I mean, we'll see what happens at the end of the month, but yeah, it's gonna have to hold that level or if it loses it, no bueno. Could see 161 after that, 162. So, nothing on Apple, AMD. Do I have the wrong date? Oh, I do. I didn't change it. Hold on. Three, six. There we go. All right, AMD back at all time highs. Um,. Maybe an uptrend entry above 211 on AMD. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we can look at IBM. There was just no trade valid on it yesterday. I took it off my screen as soon as it broke the level. Amazon, don't care about. Boeing, don't care about. Coin, can't really trade. Costco, still holding. IBM right here. Uh, it's holding a nice one hour squeeze. It's holding that structure. Looks like it might be trying to bull flag. You see, we have this large move up and then consolidation. So it could be just a super ugly bull flag up here. So if you want to look for more upside on IBM, it doesn't look bad, especially if it holds that squeeze and above that one hour. So 
good morning. And again, if you guys are in the YouTube live stream, make sure to hit that like button. We got 185 people in here, 77 likes. Take two seconds, hit that like button. You guys get a watch list today. Uh, IWM. Don't really care about this. Um, remember, I like the three-day setup that we're getting. But we're going to need a pullback closer to like 200. So, going to wait on that. Meta. Could potentially be a higher low right there. Not like, not my favorite setup, I will say, but I don't know, maybe, maybe keep it on the side. Put like a big old question mark next to it. Meta. Microsoft, Blottered. Yeah, don't care about that. Netflix, don't care about NVIDIA. Could go uptrend above 877. Thank you for the subscribe, by the way. That's just now popping up. My man subscribed five minutes ago. Thank you for the sub. Um, but yeah, NVIDIA above that high. The only issue is contracts are a little pricey. Maybe a bounce at that one hour 21 EMA. Would prefer a bounce way down there, but little far away. You, you, you don't care about Roku just sitting there doing nothing. Shopify, don't care about SPX. 5100 could be a reject today, so I'll keep that on watch. And Tesla hit the, the reject that I would have been watching. So remember, that was on the watch list yesterday. A one hour 21 EMA reject. Unfortunately, we just hit it in the pre market. So. How overextended down are we? I mean, honestly, a 175 bounce doesn't look too bad. A previous low. Or maybe even a downtrend entry, depending on the overall market. All righty. So as far as individuals, I like today, GLD, AMD, Meta, NVIDIA, Tesla. Once uh, 8.30 rolls around, then we'll narrow the list down more. But in the meantime, if anybody has trading questions or stocks that you want me to look at, type them up in the chat. And uh, yeah, let's get it. And again, everybody on TikTok, make sure you're also subscribed to my YouTube, Brandon Trades. 73.2k subscribers 938 videos teach you on how to trade plus i'm live there every single morning as well and i do power hour live trading so again brandon trades link is also in my bio all righty what we got we did spy first like 15 20 minutes Uh, watching both ways in the market. If we touch my levels and we get the reaction, then I'll trade in that direction. If we come down to support, get bullish price action, I'll look for longs, come up to resistance, show bearish, bearish price action, I'll look for shorts. I see people keep bringing up SMCI. I mean, for me personally, SMCI isn't telling me shorts. Broke out of that symmetrical triangle. It's holding strong. I don't know when it joins the S&P 500. Maybe it already did. But, yeah. I mean, all the all the chips look really bullish today. AMD, NVIDIA, SMCI. So, yeah. I always look for elevated volume at my key levels. Yes, sir. I like gold. Uh, I like that that squeeze and uh, gold futures has room to whatever that all time high. Oh, I mean, we pretty much already touched it, but if it can get above there, uh, same thing with GLD. I like the one hour squeeze. It is pretty overextended, but we're holding the structure. It's not far from 200. I feel like 200 might just be a, 
uh, magnet on this thing, so we'll see. But I do like it. Might just keep it on the side. PLTR, did it get a close above the 50% retracement? What's the news with PLTR? Anybody know? It's up $2. But we need a daily candle close above $25.42. Remember, we've talked about that. Fibonacci retracement, pivot high, pivot low. What are we rejecting? 50% retracement. Got to get a daily candle close above here, and then we can see 30 But it's actually forming a daily squeeze. So I'd be more interested if it could actually pull back towards that uh, daily 21 EMA. Then I look for a possible swing there. A new contract. I like it. Somebody I do uh, jujitsu with just bought into Palantir. Not that long ago. I've been in Palantir. Held through this entire move down. I was down a lot. But now we in profits, baby. But I like Palantir for the long term. It's just uh, doesn't get a lot of Wall Street love. I will say that. But they're not out to uh, please Wall Street. Plus, I mean. Hold on. Who doesn't trust a man that looks like this, right? <laughs> I trust him. Anyways. Uh, let's see. End phase. I was just holding above that weekly 21. So, we got the higher high, the break of structure, higher low right here. Yeah, I mean, as long as it can hold this weekly 21 EMA, that could be our next higher low. And then we go and look for that break of 140, but as far as the setup that I'm like actually interested in, nothing really, to be honest with you. see if we had a fit yep boom 73.25 the exact bottom on this thing all right two minutes and then we can narrow this bad boy down again everybody on tiktok make sure you guys are following free live streams every single morning also make sure to check out the youtube channel brandon trades 73.2k subs 938 videos, free live streams on there, free videos, free trade recaps. If you're not subscribed, you're missing out. Link is in the bio. Boom. Let's take a look at one more stock. And then we'll narrow down the individuals that I like. One more. What you guys got? You know what, we'll take, we'll take a look at AI, actually, because uh, that was something I was watching. So, we have a nice, this is, uh, we're going to put this on the swing list, because we've been talking about it. But, we had this little descending triangle down into the retracement. We finally broke above it based off our earnings, lots of volume. I would like to see if this thing can pull back a little closer to like, what are we trading at? 32. I'd prefer it closer to 30. Like 29.50 to 30, all the way down to 28.50. That entire area right there, and then I'll look for a swing. Uh, possibly, let's pull up. A... I mean, yeah, the contracts are also super cheap. Like, we could get the 35 calls for only 150 bucks with uh, 44 days until expiration. And, I mean, ideally, you're targeting way up here at 49 to 50. So I do want to keep uh, AI on a very close watch.
Yeah, that KR doing good for you. Oops. Good. Again, it's got a very nice monthly setup. Um, I'm just more allocated in SU based off of that monthly setup. Cool. Let's narrow these bad boy down. Bad boys down. Jeez. Bad boys down. All right, GLD. Like I said, we'll probably keep that on the side. That's a really nice one hour setup. Unfortunately, I wasn't awake at three in the morning and willing to trade gold futures. So we will see. Is Pal speaking now? He doesn't speak until 940. Huh. Anyways, all right. So uh, I think GLD will keep that on the side again. It is a really nice setup. I might have to trade Forex today, but we'll we'll see the gold contracts. See what they're looking at. Uh, but I do like AMD above two eleven uptrend entry, or even a bounce like two oh six. Meta, like I said, it that could be a potential higher low right there. Um, it's not like a setup that I'm in love with. So, skip over that video. Again, we could watch that as well. It's just contracts are going to be a little more expensive. NVIDIA and AMD pretty much move the exact same. So, it's really personal preference with which one you want to watch. I think what I'm going to do is just watch AMD and then I'd say Tesla. I mean, Tesla's super weak. Just look to trade the weakness and look for a bounce at 175. So let's get this mofo typed out. Uh, yes. So we're jacking that 50%. Yeah, 50% retracement. Cool. Let's do this. Spa. Down. Five hundred three point five. Two five hundred two point eight seven. Reject five ten point seven. Break above. Daily gap two two. Two five twelve. Oh, uh, you can't really trade coin. That's the issue. The, the contracts, I mean, they they have decent liquidity. It's just the, the spreads. It's like they don't want you to get in. QQQ. Uh, let's see. Bounce. 434.2. And 431. 0.23. Reject 440.2, then 441.76. AMD. Three above 211. five or bounce actually the the one hour 21 ema lines up with yesterday's high and yesterday's close so i mean that that entire area i'd be interested in yesterday's close. and then what was the other one that's still super weak. Watching for downtrend entry. Or a bounce at 175. Cool. Let's get these screenshots. Again, everybody in the YouTube live stream, make sure to hit that like button. You guys need seven more likes if you want this watch list. 
And also, I'm not going to be live today uh, for Power Hour. Power Hour. I have to uh, go drop off that rental that I've had. And hopefully, get my Tesla back. Because kind of miss it. It's been quite a while since I've had my Tesla. Spy. He is speaking later. I don't know what the news is right now. Tesla. I don't know, I might be carless for a few days. I just want the damn Tesla back. Don't get hit by a deer. If you're driving a Tesla, don't get hit by a deer because it takes forever for them to fix it. Alright. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, let's see. We got 134 likes. Yeah. All right. So, again, one more time. Everybody that's watching on TikTok, make sure to check out my YouTube channel, Brandon Trade. 73,000 subscribers, 938 videos teaching you on how to trade, tons of free education, and I go live there every single morning as well. So, again, Brandon Trade's on YouTube. The link is in my bio. Now, as far as this watch list... As always, none of this is financial advice. Everything talked about in this live stream is based on my opinion and my opinion only. Options trading is very risky where you can lose more than your initial investment if you are not careful. So as always, do your due diligence, use your own proper risk management, and I'm not responsible for any lost funds. And also remember, this is just the game plan for the day. The plan can change. The plan can get invalidated. Yeah, I'm still waiting. Plan can get invalidated. Right. Ideally. Mm, yeah, I mean, if we whoops, if we don't hit those levels today, we just sit there and consolidate. We won't take a trade. So. Wait for price to hit your levels, wait for confirming price action, confirming volume. If it does take the trade, use proper risk management. If it doesn't, don't take the trade. Wait for a better setup. Anyways, OK, let's get you guys this watch list. Spy. Q, Q, Q. AMD. And Tesla. Awesome. But yeah, as long as everybody else is good, I'm good. Ready to print. Hopefully make a bag today. Hopefully before Pal starts speaking. Which would be ideal. But again, patience, A plus setups. Take what the market gives. If the market doesn't give anything, you don't trade. But yeah. Maybe if they tell me my Tesla's done, <laughs> I'll leave early. But it's cool. 
cool. All right, everybody on TikTok, make sure you guys are following. Uh, Pal, what time was it? I think 10. 9.40. But no, no, 9.40 tomorrow. Uh, 10 o'clock today. So 30 minutes into open. Awesome. Well, everybody have a blessed day. Hope everybody's able to make some money. And remember, I won't be live this afternoon, but I will be live tomorrow afternoon as well, tomorrow morning. Have a good one. And I'll talk to everybody tomorrow.